open Drive Genius 3, before we start, I would recommend you check and make sure you are running the current version of Drive Genius 3. You can check the version of Drive Genius 3 by selecting Drive Genius 3 from the menu bar. And if you are on the current version, then we can proceed. At this point, I would encourage you to make sure that your hard drive is backed up. So we're going to select Scan. And now in scan, we're going to choose a hard drive and then hit start. As you can see on the animation, Drive Genius 3 is reporting that this drive has 17 bad blocks. This is a little excessive for a drive. If you have more than five blo bad blocks, you want, to re um, you want to replace the drive. Next step on this process is going to be to choose the hard drive, check spare bad blocks, and then hit start. Right now Drive Genius 3 is giving you a warning letting you know that this operation you are about to perform may cause data loss. So before you get started, uh, again, we would encourage you to back up your hard drive and then hit scan. There are two different kinds of scan in Drive Genius 3, a regular scan, which does reads only and on every block to check for bad blocks, and the extended scan, which does reads and write to every block. A larger capacity hard drive would definitely take more time, so you want to allow yourself extra time to run this scan. Once this process has started, Drive Genius 3 will find the bad blocks and mark them so the hard drive cannot write to them anymore, and thus making the hard drive usable. You can then erase the hard drive and reuse it, and it would be good for you to use again. This concludes our spare bad box video, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please do give us a call at Tech Support. Thank you.